Good morning. I'm back at the lagoon doing some of my morning tuning and I felt inspired to come talk to you about, you know, I've been having fun sharing more about the magic of these practices, right, that we're doing with these things that we call yoga and meditation and how important it is that it helps us really tune how we feel, right, in mind and body energetically so much power to what we're doing. But I realize there's also this very simple practicality that makes a lot of sense why this kind of lifestyle of building in more ways to tune into ourselves, much less change how we feel, right? Because for a lot of us, me too, I'm often quite unaware of what is going on with me, right? And it's my practice time, my time, whether it's in my journal, whether it's on a walk, whether it's in just sitting meditation, whether it's on the mat, the things that I know that I'm doing that are tuning me, right? A big power, a big practicality to it is that it's helping me to tune in more to myself and to really just become a lot more aware of what the heck is going on with me and what I am thinking about and what I am feeling and what I'm worried about and what I'm even dreaming of, right? So all of the above, good and bad, deep and seemingly insignificant, right? But helpful for us to find ways to do this with ourselves, for us to find ways to tune ourselves, right? And a lot of it is just the practicality of building in ways to tune into ourselves more, right? That's such a power and just adds a lot to how our life is going, right? Helps us a lot with managing things like our mental health or our physical health or our relationships, right? But to do more things that we know tune us in our awareness alone, just to become more aware of what the heck is going on with us, we are able to make a lot of changes from there, right? But without even talking about the changing power of these practices, right? The transformation we can make even in a few minutes, even in a single breath, right? Even in just relaxing ourselves more, much less shifting our focus more towards feeling more connected in various ways, right? Whether that's to our heart, our soul, our God, our spirit, our life, our family, our world, right? We get to do all of that with these practices. But a big first step in the practicality is just that chance to become more aware, build in more time and space and ways to become more aware of what is happening with us. And then we even know more what we might choose to do to take care of ourselves from there, right? And knowing that some of what we're doing with our practices is taking care of us and shifting some of what we're experiencing or a lot of what we're experiencing, right? Physiologically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, and spiritually. But yes, that first important step is that it's just the practicality of finding more ways to tune in to what the heck is actually going on with us so that we can lovingly attend to that so that we can be more aware of that right more aware in so many ways even of how we're responding in our lives in our relationships right that's always a big one for me to realize how much this stuff is affecting our relationships right and how we can be there that's huge right and just the awareness that we get within things like relationships because of taking some time to ourselves even right? Even if we're doing it while someone else is in the room, (laughs) but having ways that we can drop into ourselves, even if we don't end up getting to actually be by ourselves, there's ways we can do that too, right? Like dropping into a journal, right? That's such a time to get more personal and deep and aware and connected, much less shift and change what we're experiencing, right? So the practicality of it, whether we get spiritual with it, whether we get magical with it, that's a whole nother part but just the practicality that's undeniably important and helpful and part of the transformation just to become more aware and to build that in as a lifestyle so that we can be even more who we want to be in the world, right? And really choose more how we're showing up for 
our world and our loved ones and our team, right? Much less ourselves. <laughs> so I love you so much. Thank you for being here and excited to keep sharing why we would want to do such things as yoga, meditation, all the ways that we can tune ourselves, right? Even the practicality of it. <laughs> all right. Love y'all. Namaste.